oat milk stuff with how you can get the baby goat oh experience. Gosh. She's already <laughs> loving on a goat this morning. Guys, this is it. This is the experience. You come down here to goat milk stuff. Yes, Moonbeam. Oh my God, you guys, I mean, you get to hold thing. pretty cute goats just like Moonbeam. And then Yo Play over here. Um, Emory, you have Yo Play. How old are these baby goats in this pen? So these guys are about um, eight to 12 weeks old. They all range. But they uh, were all born in early August, early late August. And what is the baby goat experience? What do people usually come and do? So it's about 25 minutes where they get to come into this pen and they'll get to hold and snuggle the baby goats and just kind of spend that time in here playing with them. We, why did you guys decide that this needed to become like an attraction for people? Well, people love goats and there's nothing cuter than a baby goat. Right. So um, allowing people to just come in and get to spend this time uh, with the babies was just something really special that we wanted to be able to let them do. I don't know what sounds Moonbeam is making over here, but it's kind of making me a little nervous. So when you come in here, you know, these two are pretty snuggly. The rest, are they, they're just kind of running around. Is that common? Yeah, it's pretty common for these guys to just <laughs> run around like crazy and be active and jump around on the little toys that we have in here for them. But there's a few that like to just come up and snuggle with you, sit in your lap, and just kind of spend the whole time. The baby goat experience is like a 25-minute experience. Do you ever find people just being like, no, I don't want to leave? No, definitely not. <laughs> Everybody wants to get every second they can in yeah, here with them. Yeah, absolutely. And so do you have some tips for people if they come do this experience? Like, you, like I should probably put my hair back before I grab yeah. Moonbeam. Anything else? Uh, probably don't wear any open-toed shoes okay. um, or anything um, really frilly because they do like to chew on everything. <laughs> and so anything that kind of hangs loose, they have the opportunity to chew on and... <laughs> Uh, mess up. Emery, you're part of the family who owns and operates this farm. Do you ever get sick of like holding baby goats or being around them? No, I definitely don't. So I don't get to spend kind of as much time as I'd like to with them. Um, I end up working a lot of different places um, with the soap and everything. And so I don't spend as much time as I could with these guys. All right. Well, listen, Moonbeam is just my little snuggle buddy this morning. So I'm going to keep loving on her. And then the rest of them, maybe we can stir them up a little bit to send you guys out on. Come on, Moonbeam. Let's get them. There we go. Yay. How do you like that? <laughs> so oh gosh, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I love it. Moonbeam just, just loving you back, Alex. I, I love the um, Yes, Moonbeam is, is the goat. <laughs> is the goat. Yeah, so they're adorable. And I'm so excited to check back in and see Me what you too. have for us next. It's going to be a good morning, Suzanne. Good morning. That's like a little fix Thank for you. if you missed your little tiny baby, get to hold on to that little <laughs> snuggly goat. <laughs>